Hello everybody, welcome back to Journals by Jadis and today I am here to show you my design team project for February for Release the Crafton using her kit Growth and Decay, one of the most gorgeous kits I've ever seen um, and it was full of just inspiration. I've been wanting to do a nature type of journal for a really long time and her kit just lent itself to um, all sorts of creativity, given that it's from growth to decay, it allowed me to explore like all sorts of um, aspects of a nature journal or a forest type journal. So let's talk about the cover because this is probably my favorite. I, I've never done anything like this before. Um, it's corrugated cardboard um, from uh, some Amazon packaging, I think. And the spine is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of got a texture to it. It reminds me of tree bark. That's why I used it. Um, but it is the handles off of gift bags, um, the twisted paper handles, and I untwisted them. And when you flatten them out, it's kind of like crepe paper a little bit. Um, and then I added some paint. There is a little bit of shimmer. There was a, like a metallic acrylic paint that I used on it. The closure on the back, there's an eyelet here. And it has some string that goes to the front. Um, and these are little pieces of willow branch that I have tied. I'll show you the inside when we open it. And then um, this is a really nice piece of textured paper that I got from, you know, Joann's or something. Or it may, it may have even been gifted to me. But my favorite part are these leaves. These three-dimensional leaves um, that I've sewn onto here. And... It's just, I really love it. It's very, very kinetic, you know, sort of cover. And so I'm very proud of this. And so I hope that you like it too. Um, the closure is some jute around the willow branches. And when you open it, there is um, the eyelets here. And I just left the string that I tied them onto. And I put a couple beads here for you. The inside is a... Um, Fabric, upholstery fabric, it's a really nice green. It does have a faint pattern. I don't know if you can see it, kind of right there. Um, but I put a pocket on the front. And then this page is from a book that, it was like a children's book that had slits in it where you could move the little people around like it was an interactive type book. But this was missing um, the people. <laughs> so I kind of covered the little slit with a fussy cut flower type of image here. And then these are, uh, this is just a note from the bookmaker that I added. This is one of her images that I backed onto some coffee stained paper um, as a journaling card. And then this is another journaling card. This is like a three dimensional sticker that I put on there. And this is honestly just some recycled, actually you can see the marks. It was from cans from an adult beverage package and I painted on it. And then this is just a little folio type thing that I made and I put a couple pieces of ephemera in here nothing super fancy just some like a botanical image that I thought went well with it and this thing has little pockets and a little ticket I'm not sure exactly <laughs> I was experimenting and I was like well I'll tuck it in here and we'll see what what goes with it little tag but it's just a little booklet that I put in the front pocket um, this is one of the pages from her kit, and this was blank. These bars were blank, and I stamped on here, sometimes a path calls for you to walk alone, and still, it is beautiful. Um, Angie, it looks like Wyland Crosby was the name of the person that it was credited for this quote. Um, some fabric tabs, lots of threads. I left it very thready. Um, let's see, next page. This is just a journaling card made with some scrap pieces. This I thought was kind of cool. It's actually a toilet paper roll <laughs> folded in half. And then I did some sewing. And on here it says growth. Um, it's a dictionary page that says growth. So I kind of put that towards the beginning. These were little um, scraps and offcuts from her kit and from some just scraps that I had. Here's a tag from her kit back here. Um, that I cut and put in there. Oops, it's always so fumbly trying to get everything back in. Um, this is a piece of fabric. It's sheer, so I did a fabric flip. Lots of, I tried to keep, except for the digitals, I kept everything else very minimalist, like very neutral. Um, no lines, no like book pages. I don't think I put any book pages or anything. 
Um, just because I wanted it to feel like a nature, like a natural field book type of thing that you would take out with you or papers that you would have made or collected and not um, machined papers, but using the digitals as visual um, inspiration for the book. This is part of some eco dyed paper that I did. It was physically the paper that I used. The images didn't turn out really great, but I like that it did um, give some color, some pattern, and it gives some texture to it. This is a men's tie um, that I took off. It's kind of silky feeling. Let's see. Another page from her digital kit. This is um, wrapping paper. And um, it's got these neat lines on it, but I just added some some sewing. Sorry, my cat's playing in the background. I added some sewing for visual interest and texture. Some paper again. And then this is like uh, one of her tags from her kit. And this is the back side of it. And I just made like a little, what's it called? Like a flip out or a fold out, I guess. This was a paper bag folded in half. So this is half, half of the folded one. This is one of her images from her kit. Just backed on, or actually I think this is the reverse side of hers. And then a little spiral paper clip that I made out of a hair pin. Like, um, it's kind of like a bobby pin, but it doesn't clamp closed. It's just like U-shaped. I never understood how to use them, so I decided to just recycle it and bend it. A fabric pocket. Oh, music paper was the one thing that I used. And a lot of this music paper, I only, I think I only used three sheets. One per, um, oh, it's four, four signatures, sorry. One per signature. Uh, but it's vintage, and most of it is vintage music paper. This is a tag from her kit, one of her images. I just backed it onto some coffee stain paper. Music page, brown page. All that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, one of her images from her kit. Gorgeous. The frog, the mushrooms, just all the layers, the... Um, the you know the leaf like the veined leaf very pretty very very pretty um a tuck spot here and a couple journaling cards and just some like plain paper this is from her kit as well she um gave some blank pages <laughs> would you like me to turn it so you can read it <laughs> the clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness um so she gave some quotes that i just printed on some like recycled newspaper pit type of paper and printed those off. This does have a lot of book jewelry here. Um, and I tried to keep it to earth tones and like the beads are mostly like wooden type beads. I mean, there's a couple seed beads and like glass beads in here that offer some sparkle, but the beads themselves mostly are wood. I thought that was a nice touch. This is one of the pages from her kit, the background. Um, this envelope, I was actually experimenting with printing on envelopes, like running the envelope through my printer. And this is one that I did of some handwritten music on music paper. And then this is a tag from her kit that I backed onto some, uh, coffee stained paper. I actually edged it with green because it's towards the front of the book. I wanted it to be representative of the growth aspect of the kit. And then just some of that, um the handle from the gift packaging gift bag a couple three-dimensional stickers throughout here that fit with the theme i was playing around with this <laughs> and it so it's the other half of the uh paper sack and this actually underneath this flap this folds out this is part of just a scrap from her uh kit that i had left put it under there this is from her kit as well i just did a little bit of embellishing with it and then these are two little like mini booklets that you could tear pages out of. Um, what I also experimented with on this one is I ran the sewing machine through without any um, thread and made these like tear away pages. So these should be able to tear. I obviously didn't want to practice on here. I have tried it and it does work. But these are basically little off cuts of the kit that I ran that perfor I perforated so that, you know, you could use them as little little tucks, little scrap papers to tuck in places. This is a fabric tab that I just put into a, um, kind of like a specimen style. I made this with some packaging and um, the acetate here. Another gorgeous page from her kit. Looks like a moose skeleton. That would be part of the decay part, but. <laughs> and then some more of my eco-dyed paper. 
I just did some decorative stitching here, another three-dimensional um, three dimensional sticker there in like a metallic type of look. Coffee stained paper. This is actually me, I did this part on the back side of her kit page um, with just watercolor, some greens and browns and stuff like that. And then, you know, fabric tab. This is another page from her kit, gorgeous. The ladybugs, roses, very nice. A little bit of script in here. Another page. This is that was the first signature. Sorry about that. This is the second signature. A little bit of book jewelry here. Um, a page from her kit. Another fabric tab. Coffee stained paper. Metallic sticker. You'll see the same pages in each um, signature. This I actually uh, kind of stenciled with distress inks and the lace. I just kind of rubbed the distress ink on the lace. Let's see. This is another one of her pages from her kits. like got a grid paper background and then leaves, leaves, um, paper, vintage music paper, coffee stained, another gorgeous, you know, the backside image, or actually the front side image of one of her kit pictures, spider, the little glass vial here, which is really cool. And then, oh, this was so much fun to make. It was a shaker page. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. There are um, seed beads and sequins, and then it's framed by uh, some corrugated cardboard, some like finely corrugated cardboard, and it is see-through. And on the other side is uh, basically I hollowed out a frame that, she, well, this is the frame. I hollowed out the center of it and used that as, uh, this was totally the inspiration for cutting out the middle and putting something here. And I was like, you know what? A shaker card would be really cool. And there's actually some tiny little star punch outs from a star punch that I have that are in there. And that actually was one of the pieces that I used for making a tag, one of the scrap pieces. Some more paper. This same paper, as you've seen my, my old papers, those are all in there. But it's hers that were the inspiration for all of this. Look at this ginormous guy. And he's in here, gorgeous papers. Let's see, oh, and then one of her, um, this is one of her ephemera pieces. It's a like library card. I just used masking tape. I liked the color of it and I kind of wanted to use the rawness of just little scraps and bits of it. But this comes in her kit, this pocket, and you fold it up and I just put, this is I think another one of her quote papers. Yep, nothing in nature is unbeautiful. So I tucked that in there. And then my my old papers again, the back side of one of her kit pages. And then let's see, here's the front of the next signature. This is the third signature, correct? Yeah, this frog or this toad, and then like there's a skeleton in the background here, spider web. And then this is that ruffle, you know, the tree trunk material that I used on the front. Some more pages, the other side of one of her Digitals, look at this guy, millipede, centipede, creeper, creeper guy down here, um, vulture. I think in her video she said she liked this image because she it was like they were having a conversation, was kind of what she envisioned, which was kind of neat to think about. A little bit of stenciling with some um, stuff that I had in a box, papers. Another um, brown paper bag that's folded in half, but I created um, tuck spots in them. Here is another journaling card from her kit. Just backed it onto some coffee stained um, cardstock, actually. And then some just like fabric uh, ruffle type of um, decoration here. And then paper. I sewed these lines in here almost like if you wanted to collect data, you could like write stuff in, stuff that you see out on your journey. Um, and I wanted to keep it towards the center of the signature so that you could kind of see both pages and this could be like a a page in the middle that you could write on you know about what you're collecting data some more book jewelry um a little pocket that i made oh and then i cut all these little scrap pieces of paper up and just tucked them in there this is the other side of the bag here's another one of her journaling cards mushroom and the veined leaf and then just some tea stained paper Let's see, another journaling card. I left these ones blank so that the whoever 
wants this could add their own um, thoughts or ideas or quotes. And then this is an envelope that comes with the kit. This also comes with the kit and I glued it on and used it as a closure. And I just tucked a couple pieces of ephemera in here, another journaling card, a page from a book, um, backed it onto some coffee stained paper. And that just tucks there and goes right on in. If I don't get it caught on the other papers, I might turn it around. There we go. Then some more papers, another fabric tag and some stenciling. This I really liked making as well. Kind of like a specimen card. It's got acetate. It is in completely enclosed, but these are flowers that I pressed from last spring, last summer. But this is part of her digital kit. And then um, I, it kind of looked like a sunshine and a tree. And I just really liked it. I thought it was a cool piece. So I made it. And then one of these spiral um, paper clips that I make. This is an old bracelet. Um, the spiral, I got inspiration from Natasha at Treasure Books. I, I think hers were actual paper clips that she purchased, but I was like, oh, I could make one. And then just put a couple little fibers on there. Sorry for the audio change. I'm switching positions to clip this in. There we go. Some more paper. The back side, so you can see as it progresses, some of the images get a little darker. And by darker, I mean, you know, physically the color, but you're looking more at the decay aspect versus the growth aspect. Um, some beautiful um, owl images here, beetles, mushrooms, some journaling spot here or space here. And this is the fourth signature. This, again, is another toilet paper roll creation <laughs> using a lot of um, her um, influences from her inspiration from her kit. The dragonfly I fussy cut out and I just made a little embellishment. I made a little tag here. I believe this was a tag to begin with. And then I just, this is actually just raw the back side of some packaging that I glued the paper onto um and then this one is another one of her images from her kit this is a is a really big kit you guys and it's gorgeous um this is one of her images and this is also some of her image scrap paper image and then let's see a lot of the same stuff you've seen before this is the back side. I'll show you here in the front in the middle, but I liked that it was very raw. Um, the front side, in her in her digital kit, she has what looks like, you know, suture lines or sewing marks. And what I did was take my, uh, I took some embroidery thread and threaded it through and just followed the lines and then left it very raw in the back. Um, I just thought it was interesting. Kind of, it looks like rhizoids or you know root like root fibers like that you would see on a root vegetable or a root plant the root of a plant um the skull with the moth this was supposed to be this was my take on the sewing machine creating a spider web which I thought kind of turned out pretty cool kind of left a long trail there but you can obviously see it on both sides because it's through the paper this is one of that, that sheer fabric. It's a pocket. So this is the first side of it because it's folded over. Um, just some tags. This is some of her paper from her kit. This was some packaging that I had. I thought it was really pretty. And then this is just a picture out of a book or a picture that I found that I had in my stash that I thought went really well. But this little guy I made from the extra stuff that was left over from the tree the paper that I used to make the tree. And I just made a small little envelope and tucked some images in here. So those are extra journaling space. Tuck these all back in here if I can. And then some more fabric tabs. And then this is the center of the final signature. And it's we've got the vulture, some skeletons, um, and then just a a lace flip that I thought I liked. I don't know. I liked the, the, the image that it kind of gave and I liked the coloring. And then some more book bling, stenciling, the other side of the pocket. Now this is a piece from her book or from her kit and this is how it comes. It looks like this and it looks like a little book. So that's exactly what I did was make a little booklet and I just sewed it in. Sorry about that. I just sewed it in there and it's really just some off cuts tea stained paper coffee stained paper scraps from her kit that I had left over and then you know just a couple little scraps and then actually there's a pocket in here too so more 
tiny little bits. And that was tucked in here. And then I made another little envelope that I actually put several of her tags in. Um, this one, I love this one. And then just backed them with some tea stained paper, coffee stained paper. Oops, tuck it in there. And my same old papers. This is the back of one of her, or you know, one of her things. And I went over it with some like glitter glue, glitter paint stuff. It was a really pretty spider's web that I was just trying to accent. And I thought that was kind of cool. It reminded me of dew, um, you know, on a spider web, which I think was the inspiration for the spider web that I sewed in earlier. This is a piece from her kit as well. And I used it to make a belly band. Um, with another one of her um, envelopes and this one says always on it and um, this was actually from the toilet paper roll as well I was trying to think of things to do with it and I just tucked in a little picture I found this I thought it was really cool this is like it's called like a brain um, mushroom or something like that obviously you can tell why but I thought it was pretty cool and I thought it totally went with her kit. It was, you know, her kit was an inspiration to find all of these things. So let's see, that tucks in there. And I think this is, oh, this is just another image that I had. Nature themed image. Ooh, let's tuck it this way. It makes a nice belly band, I think. And I don't do a lot of belly bands, but I thought that one made a nice, and it kind of made it like a neat paper tab on its own. Some of my papers. And then the final page of her kit that I used for the back. Very, very pretty. And then the inside I made like I did like on the outside with the, um, what I what looks like tree bark to me. This is an image from her kit. Um, the little snake in there. And I used it to cover up one of the little holes in which you would like move the little puppet people. And then these are just some little scrap pieces. And that is the book. And then I just, you know, like I said, I used jute and then a couple beads at the bottom, wooden beads. You can see there are quite a bit of book jewelry items, just some beads, seed beads on bulb pins and things of that nature. It looks chunky. It's very lightweight. It is kind of chunky, but you can actually compress it because of the materials that it's made out of. Um, but this wraps around like that and it can be removed if you really wanted to, but overall I am ecstatic with how this turned out and I couldn't be more grateful to Priscilla for creating such a beautiful kit that allowed me to kind of take my creativity all over the place. Um, just, you know, from the inspiration I gathered from her kit. So I really hope that you love this flip through. I'm not trying to end it abruptly necessarily, but my camera only, or it's my phone only films for so long. And if I can get this all in one take, we all know how, <laughs> how much of a blessing that is. So I'd love to know what you think. Let me know what you think of this 3d, um, cover. And if you've ever done anything like this before, I would love to see, um, other, other creative ways to do something like that. Um, sorry, just realized all the bottoms of the signatures have bead bling as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to hear what you have to say in the comments. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.